Hello. In this tutorial, we'll see how the sync clause works. Okay. Sync clause is generally specified, uh, you know, along with comp, comp1, and comp2 data items. Uh, this is uh, predominantly provided uh, to improve the address resolution at the cost of space. So, if you are using a sync clause along with comp, comp1, and comp2, often uh, uh, you'll see a size increase in the size of the group data item. Okay. But however, the address resolution is improved. Now let's take take a look at a simple example. Here I've declared a working storage variable, a group data item. I'm having an alpha numeric data item with six bytes. If you look at the next uh, data item, elementary data item, it is declared as nine of six com. Now if you see nine of six com, it occupies four bytes. In the previous example, when we saw the intrinsic function, you can uh, as well cross verify it. So it takes four bytes. Now the nearest multiple for uh, you know uh, four uh, with respect to six is eight. Okay. Now if I add a sync clause here, if I add a sync clause here, it introduces additional two bytes uh, you know of space after this data item and before this data item. So it makes this you know uh, two bytes. Slack bytes are unused bytes. Okay, they, they don't hold any significance. So after six bytes, there are two bytes which are left free as it is. And then you have this WS comp followed by WS comp. In order to validate it, we just uh, count the size of it. This is six bytes. Without the sync clause, this would have been four bytes because comp data items from S9 of 5 to S9 of 9 or 9 of 5 to 9 of 9 comp occupies four bytes. It's a full word. This any anyway, 7 plus 1 by 2 that is 8 by 2 it occupies 4 bytes. So in, without the sync clause it would have been 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is 12 bytes. And with sync clause sorry 6 plus 4 plus 4 so it is 6 plus 4 plus 4 that becomes 14 bytes. With the sync clause it will be 6 plus 2 bytes because 8 is a multiple of uh, 4. 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 4, 16. Now just we will just display the size of it. We will save it. We will compile it. Compilation has gone successful, so we will just execute it. if you see along with the sync clause it becomes 16 bytes it introduces two bytes or additional bytes as slack bytes slack bytes are unused bytes okay just to uh, you know uh, uh, this is to help you improve the address resolution so this was occupying 16 bytes in order to validate what i have told i'll remove the sync clause I'll save it. Remember, every time you are compiling, you need to save it if you are not coming at all. Compilation has gone successfully. Let's just execute it. if you see now it is 14 bytes without the sync clause so in order to just to iterate again sync clause is specified against comp comp1 and comp2 data items okay so whenever there you have a comp uh, comp1 or comp2 data items and you want to improve the address resolution then we use the sync clause initially this was occupying 6 bytes, this was occupying 4 bytes, this is 7 plus 1 by 2 again 4 bytes. So the total size of the group data item is 14 bytes. Now when you introduce sync clause here for a comp data item, it because it is 4 bytes, S9 of 5 or 9 of 5 to 9 of 9 comp occupies 4 bytes and if you see the previous data item, it is 6 bytes. So the nearest multiple is 8, 8 is a multiple of 4. 
so the it introduces two additional bytes these are basically slack bytes slack bytes it introduces two additional slack bytes here and then the remaining thing is as it is so the total size occupied is 16 bytes hope you are clear with the this one now if i change it let's say if i change this to s9 of 3 com now this will be 2 bytes now 6 is a multiple of 2 so adding a sync here with and without sync will not make any difference because this is occupying 2 bytes and this is 6 6 is a multiple of 2 if it is anything greater than s9 of 5 com then that additional 2 bytes comes into picture hope you are clear with this ok so if you like the video please do subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up thank you